Hey all. I did some research on um, this carnivore diet and uh, it's what I'm going to do. So uh, I started the prep work. Today is going to be like prep day. Tomorrow I'll be on the diet properly. Prep day. Prepare your arenas. Which actually might be true in this case. Because some of the things I've read about pooping on the carnivore diet um, are a little disturbing to say the least. Machine gun Kelly, shall we say. Um, so, some of the reading I've been doing fascinates me, and uh, look, I'm no nutritionist, right? But um, I do have, I'm not a debater, so I don't say this out loud, so I'm going to sound stupid, but I'm also trying to be honest, so I'm just going to tell you. I have an opinion about the holistic nature of man, okay? Um, about how we're connected to things. And it's not spiritual. It's very much rooted in science, but it's probably my skew on science. So I'm probably saying some stupid stuff. But, you know, dumb people always think they're smart, right? So as I was researching, this is going to make sense in a minute. As I was researching the carnivore diet, I was watching, um, again, on the, on the, the, the Joe Rogan podcast, a uh, guy called uh, Paul Saladino. Saladino. It's an <laughs> ironic name, right? His name should be Meatino. Meatino. Meat in yo. Meat in me. I don't know. It's Paul Saladino, um, who is uh, an advocate of the carnivore diet, as far as I can tell. he was He's a little all over the place, but, but you know, he advocates a lot of things. But he advocates stopping the demonization of meat. Uh, there's a word that's been used a lot, demonization. Um and one of the things that he met, said in there just made so much sense to me, to my view about who we are, what the human race is. He said that if you look, I'm paraphrasing, if you look at the spectrum of foliage, of flora, right, of plant life on this planet, a vast majority of it is poisonous to humans. And there is a small... Uh, group subgroup or phylus no it's not phylus because they, they come from different things but there is a small section that are edible to humans right and some of them are very healthy and have benefits and you know chlorophyll and all of these good things that can help you but if you basically if you go out and close your eyes and say eat a plant you could kill yourself right in the spectrum of fauna there is a vast majority of animals that are edible and a very small uh, subgroup that are poisonous. Tiny subgroup, in fact. You can eat almost any animal. Now, to me, biologically, that says to any evolutionary, right, as far as the evolution uh, is concerned, that to me says, God, I sound like an idiot, but fuck it, keep going. That to me says there is some natural connection between us and me. It's what I've always kind of felt about food, right? And I have a lot of friends who are vegetarian, and I admire it, and I admire the choice. I admire the fact that you have a, a, a standard by, to which you adhere. But um, I've always kind of felt it was unnatural, right? But I don't want to sound like a douchebag, right? Like a bro who's eating brats, you know. Yo, man, get your kielbasa! But I've always felt it's a little unnatural, to be honest with you. I think you're. I think the body is capable of handling it, and I think if you know a lot about nutrition, then you can you can work that diet to be healthy. But I think just being vegetarian, just out of the box, I'm a vegetarian, is unhealthy. I think you should have meat in your diet. The problem is a lot of our meat is processed, or a lot of our meat is raised in uh, unethical and unsanitary and unhealthy ways. But Taking aside our farming and food production practices, vegetables and meat raised naturally, you should be eating meat. And I think you should be eating mostly meat. I've always kind of felt that, right? I think it's, you know... So the carnivore diet, the point is, I'm not trying to proselytize just to talk myself into the carnivore diet. The carnivore diet, the more I read about it, makes sense. And particularly when that guy, Paul Saladino, Dr. Sa I think he's a doctor. I hope he is. I think he's a doctor. Saladino said, you know, most plants will kill you if you eat them. Most animals are healthy if you eat them. Just that statement alone just kind of helped make me realize, yeah, I need to do this. 
So I kind of started it today. I'm tra- like I said, I'm transitioning into it. Like this morning, I had bacon and eggs. <laughs> I can't believe we're saying that on a diet. But the moment I ate the bacon and eggs, I felt energized. I felt focused. I felt creative. Like now I'm thinking of ideas about what I can do today. I might open my play that I haven't opened for nine months. Um, I just feel right. You know, so I actually did get a comment on the potato diet saying don't go off it, and then it doesn't appear. It's really weird. I I got an email with this whole comment from I think it was from Mary, who you've you've commented before saying don't go off it, stick with it. Um, maybe you deleted it. I don't know, but thank you for that comment that now isn't there. Um, it did make me second guess. So I did think about it. I was like, well, maybe she's right. Maybe I should stick with it. But then like. Again, I did more research on it. I looked at the diet plan. I'm like, oh, my God, apart from the expense of this diet, this carnivore diet, really, it just, I don't know, something just clicks with me. I'm like, the potato diet clicked with me in a different way. It clicked with me that it's one thing, which makes it simple, and I like simple. I'm a designer, right? So I like simplicity. And the second thing was I love potatoes, right? So I'm like, well, I know that I'm not sick of them on day one. I did get sick of them, but I'm not sick of them on day one. And then the third thing is, like, it seems drastic, and I need drastic action, right? Well, I think the carnivore diet fits that as well. It's simple, right? I love meat and um, eggs, and I can have cheese. I can have meat, egg, and cheese, right? The eggs and cheese I'm going to limit. They're not going to be all the time. It's mostly meat, um, or just meat. Um, so that seems simple, and it's drastic, you know? It's drastic. It's a, it's a big change. And I just keep seeing these reports and I'm watching videos from people who are on the carnivore diet. And I know you can't tell how healthy someone is by looking at them, but it helps, right? (laughs) It helps. And I'm looking at these people on a carnivore diet and they look glowing. They do. I'm sorry. They do. They look incredible. I don't know. I just, I think they look really, really, really healthy, you know. Something else just occurred to me while I was talking, rambling. (coughs) I have read (coughs) quite a few things about um, sustainability, right? That that's one of the issues with uh, the carnivore diet is that you're eating a non-sustainable food source um, and the vegetarian diet uh, is more sustainable. But um, I've read a lot of stuff that says that's not true. All right, so... I'm trying to think in the same way as I think politically, right? Which is to think independently, to gather as much information as possible and not feel ashamed to follow a line of thinking and learn about it, right? Which is what we all need to start doing. And I realize that I have been to some extent indoctrinated into the belief that meat is not sustainable for this planet and vegetables, a vegetarian, a plant-based diet rather, is, right? But I don't know that. I have just been told that by people I trust and and sources that um, I respect. And so, therefore, that's been my truth. But I don't know that, right? I haven't really looked at the other side. I've just heard someone else tell me that and gone, oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, we need plant-based diet is sustainable. So I started doing a little bit of research on it, and um, I don't know if it's true. I'm just going to be honest. I don't know if it's true. Um, there are certain aspects of a plant-based diet that are more sustainable that for this um, for our culture, <laughs> right, for the planet, but uh, not with water use. So just as an example, right, it takes far less water, far less water to raise cattle than it does for most vegetables that we grow. I mean, did people know that? I don't know. I didn't know that. No one ever told me that. But it takes a lot more. Right. And there are other aspects as well. People have talked about methane from cows farting and all kinds of stuff like that. But I'm going to actually start doing some proper research because my information is bits and pieces. So it's not really good enough to put together an argument one way or the other. But I'm adding this little bit in the middle of this video, because if you're watching this and you have an opinion, I would genuinely like to hear it. Don't be angry with me for researching. Educate me. Right. So I would like to hear why a plant-based diet is more sustainable than a meat-based diet is for humanity. Because I've always believed 
that eating plants is better for the environment, basically, to sum it up in a nutshell. And the more I read about it, the more I'm finding that that simply is not true. And I don't know if my sources are accurate. I don't know whether I'm being swayed the other way or not. So I'd like to hear information about it. But I just want to put that out there. It is not necessarily more sustainable to eat plants than it is to eat meat. And if you believe that, I would like to know why you believe that. Because I want to see what the proof is. Because I have seen proof both ways. And may, maybe some of the ways I've been seeing the proof is from, um, I don't know, the, the cattle magnates, oligarchs from Texas. Hmm. Uh, I know, I'm sort of pissing people off. I'm sorry. It's just... I'm going to give it a go anyway. So um, I'm going to weigh myself tomorrow. I must have gained weight because I've had two bad days on the diet. I, I mean, it's, when I say two bad days, I mean two days as I used to eat. It's not like I went crazy, but that's how I used to eat. But uh, I'm sticking with the water only. So, you know, the potato diet's done well. I've lost almost 10 pounds on it, probably seven pounds by the time I weigh myself tomorrow. Um, but I've lost 10 pounds on it and it cleaned me out. It kicked my Diet Coke habit, which I'm really happy about. So I'm just on the water. And um, I think the reset is good. It's also good timing because my father-in, my stepfather, my father-in-law, well, he's not my father-in-law, my mother-in-law's boyfriend, Jerry, just sent me um, a box of Omaha steaks. So it was good timing. There are eight steaks. He actually sent them to me on day five of my potato diet. So I opened them up and I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. And these beautiful and omaha steaks make they very good ribeyes they really are delicious ribeyes and i couldn't eat them well now i can so and jerry's i'm gonna have to send him this video because he's gonna need to send me a monthly batch <laughs> of omaha steaks um all right so that's it carnivore diet starts tomorrow no more potato diet i gave it a go you've had my experience now you're gonna see what it's like being on the carnivore diet um i'll probably show you what i'm cooking right i'll actually give you a list every day of what I eat because it's not just potatoes it's going to actually be a variety of foods uh, like bacon and eggs and cheese and steak and ribs and chicken wings and chicken breasts and charred grilled hamburgers with cheese on them sausages and I can have different cuts of bacon 